Riley Chi is accused of killing a professor on campus. He made his first appearance in court today. The judge denied him bond, so he is going to remain behind bars. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live on the campus tonight with the very latest on the investigation. Gilat. A big part of this investigation is the search for the gun that police say graduate student Tai Lei Chi used to kill Professor Zhe Yin. That gun still has not been found, and Caudill Labs remains closed here. That's the building where this happened as this investigation continues. Flowers at the bell tower and outside Caudill Labs are reminders of what happened here Monday and the usual campus energy that's missing. Everything felt very um, just kind of like down and sad is a reminder for sophomore Tori De La Peruta too. To not see that today was just like a reminder of like what, what just happened and you know, it's really scary. But why did it happen? UNC Police Chief Brian James says investigators are still trying to figure that out. We will look at every uh, ounce of information available about the suspect that may include social media posts, but certainly looking for any uh, information out there that may have indicated uh, what his intentions were and, and why he actually did it. The chief says the suspect, Tai Lee Chi, knew the victim, Professor Zhu Yin, but beyond that. We are still exploring the relationship uh, between the professor as well as the suspect. Um, we cannot be specific at this point about where it happened. It is still under investigation. Chief James says other people were in the building where the shooting happened, but would not say if anyone else was in the room. He says she left the building quickly, but officers don't know his exact path. We saw FBI agents at the building into the evening. Chief says officers took she into custody about two miles from Caudill Labs without having to use force. Professor Yin leaves behind two young children. Chancellor Kevin Guskowitz says university leaders met with his family. He was a beloved colleague, mentor, and a friend to so many on our campus. The community will honor Yin tomorrow by ringing the bell tower at 1.02 p.m., which is when police say the 911 call came in. The university will also honor Yin with a vigil at 7.30 p.m. tomorrow. Live in Chapel Hill, Gilat Malamud, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you so much.